take it to the ground, fool. <laughs> you actually like straight up blocked the gun with your elbow. And I was like, are you okay, Gemma? When you're doing a lot of these bigger movements, you don't want to shoot it at a high angle to really stack those movements. I'm Gemma Nguyen. I'm super excited to be back. I'm a seven-time world champion in sport karate. What's up, guys? My name is Noah Flater. I'm an action actor, and I'm a huge Metal Gear Solid fan. Since the very first one, it was something that my dad and I were able to play together. I just love the franchise, so I'm excited. Without further ado, let's see us try some of these moves. So he does a check, leg kick, and then just stab into the neck. The biggest thing about Metal Gear Solid, not so much the choreography, it's the camera work. Mm -hmm. It's the slow-mo and how they do the hyper-focused camera where it like zooms in for a second and then goes into the kill. It's simple, direct, to the point. So let's take a look at the way we did it. Action. So gun, check, kick out, stab, then kill. He holds it. And he catches it just to show that he's dead. We can talk about that redirect. It's a very common redirect that you train in Filipino style systems. And you wanna make sure that there's enough room to clear so you don't get stabbed. Come back up, this thumb position or this grab is really important because this manipulates. That's a wrist manipulation here. And then you strip or clear the knife. He has a lot of those kind of movements that he does in the game, which I love doing. Oh God, I love fighting this character. <laughs> I don't remember his name, but he's like the Peter Pan of a terrible world. <sighs> the first movie to really popularize it was 300. 300 was the first time we really saw that slow-mo speed ramp movement. And a little bit of camera shake just adds that hecticness to mm -hmm. it. So let's take a look at the way that we One, recreated action. it. Ooh, little twirly twirl. I did that because I wasn't holding it at the end. Like I didn't like how I was holding it. So like I just, Twirled it back and it felt comfy. Magnificent. That back fist looks vicious on you. Jesus Christ, all right. Good job. Oh, s so he rushes, hits, 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 strips the gun. So he's not a, a threat. For this, I kind of did like a jab, cross, low roundhouse kick. So let's take a look at how I was able to mimic this. As I was doing it, I was like, this is a really weird way to strip a weapon from somebody. I know a few disarms for an assault rifle, but I just like took it from him and I pointed the weapon, yep. I just can't believe the audacity rushing someone with a freaking gun. That was a fun one. Okay, Gemma comes with the knife, goes to stab, strip, disarm, flip you around, and arm break. Nice. This camera movement, man, it's so good in the lens flares. All right, let's take a look at watching us do it now. Stabbing, strip, turn around, step across, all the way here. This was a one and done too, I think. You're just going autopilot? Yeah. Yeah. She's I just, just let you autopilot. handle my body. <laughs> I just do whatever, I just go with the flow. When you're shooting these kinds of things, yeah. you can't think about it too much. Right. Yeah. You're going flow state, baby. Just let it happen. Autopilot. Okay, let's see this next combo. So in the game, like they have full armor, you can't shoot them and kill them easily. So it's actually easier to sneak up on him, disarm him, and then see at the bottom it says ST, he's stunned. I'm way too excited. I know. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> nice. Now he's stunned. You're so fast. I love doing choreo like that. Those like actual martial arts drills or choreography is really fun for me. I would never, ever, ever do this in real life. What would you do if somebody walked up with a shotgun to you? Dude, freaking run, what the heck? Oh, I genuinely think that the best move would be to rush. Really? By the time I turn around and try to run, he's gonna shoot you. That's the worst distance to be at. I'd still run, you know that quote, those who live by the sword get shot by those who don't. <laughs> I'd be like, sign out this, bye. One, action. <laughs> You actually like straight up blocked <laughs> the gun with your elbow. And I was like, are you okay, Gemma? Mm. Adrenaline is she one hell of a- She just blocked and then <laughs> and then just hit Sean. 
Oh my god, I love this one. I get to jump off his knee, wrap my legs around. That was so much fun to try. And Sean was such a trooper about Sean it. Sean was a trooper. I love the redirect, so this is a sequence I don't really get to see. I was like, oh, he's gonna strip the knife. And then, nope. yep. And props to Ted again with the camera movement. Like, he is tracking the movement back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> Stink face. He's keeping it in focus, yeah. He's following, he's following. He follows the hero, Gemma, and comes down and favors the action here. I'm getting pumped just watching mm -hmm. it. Gemma, how do you feel about your facial expressions? I mean, this is angry Gemma. This is, That's... I'm about to fly and squirrel your ass face. I've slightly seen that face when we were at a restaurant and messed up your order. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a big part of like selling the action is like this. <laughs> They're gonna talk about your food. <laughs> we were at a fun place late at night and you were not happy about it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Zero tolerance, especially if I'm ordering in Vietnamese. <laughs> Peter Pan, jumping, flying, eating a knee. Gemma can't really do anything because she's fully sending her body and it's gonna meet my knee. That would actually gonna hurt her. I'm Any miscalculation and that could have been really bad. Yeah, but then we found a simple solution. It's not like the best, but I think it's still sold. So let's take a look at what we did. She jumps up, I give her a knee and then boom. Yeah, yeah. I think I gave you something to hit. Yeah, you had your hands to check, but like I still felt like I don't want to kill Gemma. I don't. Do this <laughs> yeah, I was I was a little nervous to do this. So you can see me not fully commit to the knee. But we tried away. it for you guys. <laughs> you rolled away like a pro. What are we doing? More here? throws. Bam. Pretty much what you need to do here is still a trip throw, but in this scenario, we're not grabbing. We're pushing with the chest. So he grabs, and he's pushing down on the chest while he's throwing. I think I do it, but it's, it makes it really for an interesting shot because I'm so much, so much smaller than Sean. Here, Dude, yeah. that looks so awkward. This height difference is crazy. Oh my crazy. gosh, I love us like the shots of us trying to figure it out. He's like, okay, I'll bend my knees, hella. Damn, Sean. I know he sold that for me. Hell yeah. Like, is that good? Oh. Anybody? <laughs> you always do that. I know. I'm like me. validation, please. <laughs> Okay, so this one's actually really great for the camera movement. Ted. Yes? If you get yes, here sir. right now, we can put you on camera and talk about camera work for Metal Gear Solid, sir. So what's up? Okay, I'll be there in 15 minutes. That's <laughs> it, there we go. See you, Teddy. So watch how the camera comes up with me and comes down with Gemma. That really helps sells the movement. And even if it's not the best, it doesn't matter because we don't have to retake it. Teddy, get in there, buddy. Oh. I'm starting off with a low angle. Uh, it just makes you guys look taller, dramatic, and a lot of action shots are low angles. Personally, it just feels more open. When you're shooting up tall, it just makes things everything look smaller. When you're doing a lot of these bigger movements, you don't want to shoot it at a high angle to really stack those movements. You need to really pay attention because one take and you don't get it, but the performers mess up, that's all on me. He had one moment where he, he <laughs> fed up. Yeah. <laughs> Easiest job. So Noah's doing this flip onto his back. And my job was just to press the button and make the leap forward go out. So on take, he goes, I miss the trigger. He hits, the whole crew looks at me. And I'm like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. It sucks when it's like the camera's perfect, the lighting's perfect, the performers hit their mark, everything's good, mm -hmm. except the leaf blower. <laughs> I have to hit my mark. I know how I'm supposed to move and look, but it's the camera team that helps make it, give it that extra um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you know the movements, you know how to compliment. Sometimes you're just like, okay, I'm gonna hit, hit like a cheat seven. And I'm like, okay. And then you already know where I'm gonna be for camera. He speaks my language. <laughs> Ted, thanks for coming. Oh, thank you for I having me. <laughs> Switch out. Boom. Thanks for warming up my seat. Kind of just recapping here, it's a very simple grab and throw, but the camera movement just adds so much and of course your little body twitch. I had to sell it. Everyone's working really hard. I got a good, you know. <laughs> You're so talented, Jemma. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So she runs forward with the knife, grab, 
step, trip, and I haven't disarmed her. I'm actually doing something there that I don't know if they're doing in game. When I'm holding her arm, I'm holding her pressure point here because if I need to, I can dig in. Yeah, that don't feel good. You can grab where the bicep meets the tricep inside here, all of those little things, that all sucks. That's a martial arts habit, that was not a film thing. Moving on to the second part of the move. So the way that you would technically do this one is a wire pull. So we're just improvising because we're not So I doing had to that. initiate the pull myself and it looks kind of weird. <laughs> General lines and block check, boom. <laughs> and then looks directly at camera, being dead. <laughs> Did you see that? I'm dead, guys. Okay, he's in a salute position, it's so messed up. He runs and just Super throws messed him. Up. Right leg lifts up and tosses him. So let's take a look at how I did that with Nick. And he did a great job selling this throw here. Take it to the ground, fool. Are you over there with the heater again? Me? In the corner, yeah. <laughs> For this one, it's again, it's grabbing like the collar, anything that's like in this chest area. He's wearing a vest, literally perfect to grab. The hard part is just getting your leg position inside there. That's it, the rest is just throw. Nice, good job. That's it, thank you. Start off with a little sneaky, sneaky action from the back, push. I think I did this one. He I does it with his jaw in that. I don't know if you're able to like, Reach? Yeah, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> I didn't know if you Let's be reach. honest. Yeah. Action. Feels so bad just like rushing from the back and giving him a shove. Such a bully. To help sell that, I mean, if I were to do it again, I'd probably make it straighter, that punch. Yeah, that's okay. Good job, Gemma. Thank you. Oh, I think I did this one. He does these check movements. I think I just like a little freestyled it slightly. Let's watch how I did it, yeah. Depending on where you're hitting, a check first is a block, but then it becomes a form of being able to stall the opponent. Like your hands are here, I can check the elbow to come down and here to come up. And if the other hand comes with a punch, I could, that's a check redirect here. That's where I really wanna check to manipulate where the body's gonna go. So if I check on the forearm here, she can overflow the wrist on top or the elbow on top and come up. He does a lot of checks in this. It's kind of all I was saying. So I'm hitting to the face, checking the gun in between so he can't bring it back up because it's not a disarm technique. And those low kicks are brutal. That'll really hurt somebody. Uh, that scorpion kick, as soon as I saw that, I was like, Gemma's gonna do that instantly. I think we did pretty good. I, we only practiced it, I think, once. Yeah, yeah, one take, we just did it. Knife comes in, block, strip the knife. She kicks, I block, then I spin her head around and go for the arm bar. What I really liked is from the kick, her head position's already down and it allows for that spin down. Mm -hmm. And I think I had to put my hair in a bun because you stepped on my hair. Oh, I I did a take where I almost stepped on your hair and I like forfeited the choreo. Oof. Hell yeah. Not solid, Good Metal job. Gear solid. I had so much fun being able to recreate that with you, Gemma. I had fun being Peter Pan. <laughs> he pretty much is Peter Pan. <laughs> I think the cinematics were a lot more fun than to do just the normal gameplay sequences, mm -hmm. choreography style, but it really comes down to their camera work. Metal Gear Solid, your camera work is phenomenal. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, make sure to follow Gameology's Facebook and YouTube page. Till next time. Are you nervous? I can feel it. Yeah, man. This is my <laughs> first time really talking in front of the camera. Ted never gets to talk in front of the camera. He's always behind the camera yeah. holding it. I can feel it. Yeah. Just relax. It's okay. <laughs> it's a game show, dude. Look at this thing.